Okay, I'm going to show you a uh, tutorial on how to make a PC. Look like a Mac. I've seen a lot of these on YouTube, and they're not very good most of the time. So, just wait a second while it boots up. Okay, see that? There you see the Apple in the middle of the screen. See that? It's booting up right now. And you see the login screen says Mac OS X. And it's logging in, so let's give it a second. Okay. Uh Gotta finish loading up. There you see the Mac background that you see on so many videos. Just working, spinning, you know, loading up. And see there? That's not a start menu, you have to find your bar. Okay, this is what the Mac actually has. Just click right here. And don't pull the program list. It says a backless Mac, system preferences, dock, all that stuff. I'm going to click a backless Mac. Okay. Mac OS X version 10.4 pre release. Okay. And just go right here. Uh, okay, there it is. And there's the dock. And. This is Rocket Dock, and you see how it's, I got it pulling up like that? Uh, you just go on the website where you got Rocket Dock, and go down to Stack Docklet, and go to Docklets and download Stack Docklet. Okay, that's how you get these neat little folder stacks, like that. And if you want to see what this looks like the first day I started working on it, it looked horrible. So, let me just open up a picture for you. That's what it looked like at first. And you see just the regular icons down there. I still had Finder Bar, but it wasn't as good. You can see there, it's got like Windows icons there. Now it don't. <laughs> Alright, now then, let me just close that out here. Okay, how I did all this? Alright. Let's see. And it just finished loading up. Okay, you're gonna download. Go on Google, search Icon Tweaker. Hold on. Let me just step over here to the other computer, because this one don't have internet yet. The USB thing's coming in the mail eventually. And just open up the internet. And you're going to search for icon. Tweaker. On Google. Okay. You're going to see a thing. It says. Icon Tweaker, download Icon Tweaker. Okay, you just download it. And that's how you get the special little icons and whatnot. Okay, let's go back over here now. And another thing you're going to need here is. Uh, give me just one second. Finder Bar 1.5. Just Google it, you'll find it. Okay. I mean, you know how to download crap off the internet. Just Google it, find it, download it. Rocket Dock. Okay, you're going to have to download this. And then while you're on the thing, search for themes. Let's see here, hold on. Skins. Okay. 
you're going to try to find one that says, you're going to search for one that says Leopard. You can probably find it on DeviantArt.com. Okay, let me just go back in. Uh, and here's something else you're going to need. Okay, you're going to need Fly Kite OS X. And what that does is it just gives you the startup that looks like a Mac and the uh, logout screen that looks like a Mac and everything. The only thing that's going to let people know that it's Windows XP is when you put it into sleep mode, it don't have a thing that says Mac OS X. It says Windows is hibernating. And then the screen goes black, so that's the only way you're gonna tell. And as I said, just Rocket Dock, Finder Bar, Icon Tweaker, and then you're gonna need uh, Flykite OS X. Just Google it, whatnot. Uh, also, to get my theme, you you can well. When you download Flightcart, you don't need Rocket Dock. Rocket Dock. Uh, the Rocket Dock. It gives you Object Dock, which is nowhere near as good. So just delete Object Dock completely. Go with the Rocket Dock. And when you get Flykite, it should give you the themes and whatnot. If not, then download. Uh, hold on. I totally can't remember. Let me go browse for the name of the thing. Okay. Let's see. What's this? No, that's not it. I think it's Open OS X is the name of it. Yeah, Open OS X. Okay. And then just go on deviantart.com and search for Mac theme for XP if nothing else but Flykite OS X should be able to get it should get you everything you need and uh people are always complaining you gotta pay for Flykite OS X let me show you a way to get it free you don't get the latest version get the one before that so Flykite OS X. Okay. Google it. Alright. See this? Click on download. And it's going to say free. See? So just get Flykite OS X 3.5. Download it. And you notice that's kind of old. But it works great. It gives you the theme and everything as you can see there. But it's going to make your. It's gonna make it look like that. It's gonna make it like, look like you have a start button. You don't want that. You need to get Finder Bar, and then you just move your Task Bar up to the top, and then you engage Finder Bar, and you right-click and hit Skin It. You can see, otherwise it's just that. When you skin the Finder Bar, it get turns the Task Bar into Finder Bar, and what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna go into Applications. Program files. You're gonna go to the Finder Bar, okay? And it's gonna say Finder Bar Engage. You need to copy that into the file that says uh, Startup. Let's see. Let me find it. Uh, program files. Windows Let's see. Well, hold on. Let's see. Let's see this here. Finder bar. Okay, finder bar engage. Right click that. Go to properties and go to 